Welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to do the pop-up window. So an example here, the user's typed in their age, but they've gone and typed in zero. I don't like that because I need them to enter a better number. So I say check age, and it says age must be zero or larger. Well, that's an awful message because I want bigger than zero, but you get the idea. Okay, and then I close it there, right? Or I can say, say hi, are you sure? And these pop-ups that say, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, yes. And so it says hi. So let's see how this is done. So pop up a NetBeans here, already pre-coded. Let me walk you through what I did. The first thing, those pop-up boxes are from a class that's already been written in Java called J Option Pane. So what you need to do at the top of your class file is you add, need to add this import line, javax.swing.joptionpane. Once you have that up at the top, we're going to be able to use the J Option Pane. Now here's how it works. When I hit the button, and I'll just do the check age one first. When I check the age, I want to see if they've entered zero or below, and that's bad. So I read in what they typed into the text box, get into the variable age. If the age is less than zero, that's bad. I want to show them a message and notice the code. I'll leave it. It's a little hard to see. Let me close this one here. I still don't quite have all of it, but there it is almost all showing and you'll notice the big long line hey j option pane use your show message dialog method just put null there's the message the user sees there's the title of the box and this is the type of j option pane that should pop up there's lots of different types the one i use there was just a basic information message one right this is built in constant into the class for now really you might be a beginner you're just copy pasting right and just change the text to say what you want okay and that's it it pops up and they hit okay now the other one that i used was the one that said yes or no so just to show you again there when i run this one so that negative five age check age right that's just okay this one here gave me a yes or no it's a little bit different this one will actually find out what the user said, and then depending what they chose, you get the check and either do code or not do code. So here's the basics on that one. You'll notice it's very similar. I'm still, when they hit the button, I'm still popping up a J option pane, but this one is a show confirm dialog, not a show message dialog. And still just put null there. There's what you say to them. There's the title of the box. And there's a lot of different options here, but I want the one that has yes, no option. And so they can select yes or no. Now, this is the neat part. This here, depending what the user has pressed, is sending back a number. So I need to capture this number. So I've made this integer called response. So this integer called response equals a number if they hit yes and a different number if they hit no. And even though I don't even know what that number is in the back of my head right now, you can just check it like this. If the response variable equals J option panes yes option, then that means they clicked yes, and I'll say hi. They wanted to say hi. If the response equals J option panes no option, well, I didn't do anything, but you could do something else there. And that's sort of how you tell the difference. And that's really it. So pretty easy code, right? I mean, largely it's almost like a copy paste, you know, of this line that you're seeing right there and put it in your program. Just make sure when you do use this that you have to put your import statement back at the top. And that's really it. Thanks for watching. Make good use of it.